Samantha here and welcome back to another episode of Sims 4 Parenthood and Ashley's just up it's Saturday morning she's oh what kind of weird glitch is that anyway she's up making some breakfast for the kids unfortunately Tara is going through a sort of phase and she wants to talk it out with her mom about the situation and she's just like the curfew situation just sucks you know like yesterday we were out having a good time yeah unfortunately Ashley has not been on her job y'all she didn't even know the kids got in late they did I guess let her know about a party so they weren't surprised I actually wasn't surprised that they were out late but she has no idea how late Braylon was out and y'all Braylon basically like took that sleep replacement ate like some beans and and wieners or whatever and then he ended up uh going to to work so he is actually at work right now and he has promised rylan that he will take him to the pet store when he gets out of work so that he could um let him go pick out a gerbil or hamster or something like that because rylan's just like you know what i've caught you twice <laughs> I've caught you twice, right? Doing things that you weren't supposed to do, being out and about. So, um, yeah, he's pretty much just like, I'm done. So Janae needs to finish. Oh, no one likes me. I will. No one will ever like me. Why bother? It? Wait, what are you talking about? You got a, a cute little boyfriend. What is going on? People like you. I will all lo always love you. Life is pain. Just keep going. Oh, that is horrible. Uh, I'm going to say people like you. Look around. I'm not sure who she's asking. But I want to say love because love is different than like, like, I feel like if say what well, if you say no one likes me and I say, well, I love you. It's on a whole nother level. But is she asking about like or is she asking about love? I don't know. I'm gonna go with my first mind. People like you look around um, and then we'll go with that. So anyway, let's go finish working carefully with that. She's going to go on and get that taken care of. She also needs to use the bathroom and uh, Dante is up. He's taking a shower. Um, and for some reason, he's in this weird cost I, it looks like he's going to work in the doggone uh what you call it i have no idea but i thought about him getting a job too because in the process of braylon looking for a job dante was kind of like i want to get a job too so i don't know we might have him get a job too i don't know but anyway i'm gonna have him go grab a serving of that tara um is going to the restroom oh she's going to repair it okay hey who, who am i to say anything about the fact that you're going to go do that all right where's her project i thought she had a project they got they all had projects did they not work carefully all right so she can go work on that project right there and skyla is still sleeping like a little princess that she is so i'm actually going to have her get up because she should be good now i'm gonna have her take a shower go use the bathroom and then also go grab because they were out y'all they just yeah it, it was ridiculous anyway i'm gonna have her grab a serving of that as well but i don't know after last episode with braylon jr getting a job i'm kind of like what the girls want to get a job too i can see skyla like working at a retail store um like stuff like that and and does Dante have anything? I think he has, he didn't have any homework. Um, he had homework, but he didn't have any, uh, any assignment or anything like that to do. So, oh, wait, did, who got, oh, that must have been for our money, our, our books. Okay. Must have been. Okay. Wow. That was a lot of money we just got. Okay. Um, and then he's out here playing with, uh, toys and what have you. So <laughs> that's so sweet. Uh, could he come over here and help his sister with her project? Let's see. He could assist with project. I'm going to have him go do that just because I feel like that that's something that he would do. And this is Skyla. So as soon as Skyla is finished with hers, she can go work carefully on hers and maybe they can get everything done. I also want her to um, practice her guitar. She hasn't played that in a while. And in the meanwhile, Jada is still sleeping too. What do you need to do, Jada? She has an assignment too. Oh my gosh. Can we do it in here? Or are we going to be like out of space? We're going to be out of space. Um, can we... I can't, I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, no, we don't have no space in this room for it. Golly, I swear. Can she do it on the front yard? Yard? She might have do it out here, y'all. Anyway, so she'll start working carefully. Is that Craig? Oh, that's not. Whoa, that's Zane. Someone had said, I think that was Siren that said he looks like Craig. I mean, uh, Zane looked like Craig. He does. <laughs> Why is Zane walking past my front door? I don't know. I just don't know. Anyway, so um, no, so anyway, so it's Saturday. We're just going to get everybody up and at them. Um, I'm probably going to spend, oh gosh, when did this break? Y'all, why is everything breaking around here? Does he have to go to work today? He does. Um, he needs to mix drinks. I think... Um, she has the bar in her pocket, so I'm going to have her pull it out, and then we're going to have him start doing that. I thought last time I did the wrong thing, I think. So anyway, I'm going to have him 
Um, I think we need to actually make drinks. So I'm just going to have him make his favorite drink and then also make a drink for Ashley. And then um, that way he can get that taken care of. He wants to get to know Skyla a bit. So I guess I can have Skyla kind of... Where is Skyla at right now? Will she come? I don't know. She probably won't come out here because she's trying to get something to eat right now. What is this? Oh, it's a robot. Oh, that's cool. I hadn't seen this one before. Activate. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. What else can you do with it? That'd be cool if you could do more stuff with it besides just like have it. Oh, I'm trying to look at it. Good. I mean, that'd be cool if you could do something else besides just watch it, like, do its thing, but I guess. Um, anyway, so let's go put that in Janae's pocket so she can have that and take it to school. And Dante, what are you doing, sir? <laughs> I like having Dante here, y'all. It's so cute. I like having him here. I don't know why. Um, all right. So mom's in here doing some repairs. So did we dry the laundry? Okay. So let's do that. And you were supposed to make your wife a drink. Did you make your wife a drink? Did he make her a drink? Make drink for Ashley. All right. And then she can go get herself something to eat. And Skyla is, where is she at? Okay, she's over here. All right, so I think I'm going to have Braylon, after he finishes doing all that, I have him come over here and assist her with the project. Oh, this is cute. She's like in the swing. I've never seen an a, a, a older Sim get in the swing. That is so cute, y'all. <laughs> so what do you guys think about the fact, oh, goodness, Braylon's like already toasted. What do you guys think about Skyla having a potential romance with Aaron? I need to give her a makeover, but I feel like I'm going to send her a text and just see how she's doing. Maybe call her on the phone a bit, see what's going on. School is stupid. I should just be able to start working or living. Oh, goodness. So he comes back from work and all of a sudden he's like, I don't need school. I'm making money. You saw how much money I made cutting grass today? Son, huh, society require, requires school for success. There you go. Boom. Just like that. And that is how parenting is done my kids that is how parenting is done so is he having a shout forbidden words oh my goodness so he didn't like that answer at all so he's in here with rylan right now he's like rylan come on you you, you you you're just gonna make me do this i just got money today and i gotta sit here and take you now to go get this dog on pet like are you kidding me so look at him he's just like and rylan's like i don't want to hear it brother we had a deal we had a deal all right baby bro why is he responding like that? Anyway, let's go travel. We're going to take Rylan with us. And let's go take him to this pet store. All right, guys, here we are at the pet store and poor Braylon is feeling it. He said he's going through some familial distress right now. He's just like not feeling the fact that I guess he went to work today and now he has to come in here and do this with his brother. But anyway, we'll go here together and maybe go check out some of the stuff. This lady is doing the most. OK, girlfriend, you got your Nirvana shirt on. You got your yeah. <laughs> I don't know what kind of heels those are. But anyway, so hey, Rylan, go look around, see what you want. And Rylan is super angry because he was just like, you know what? You promised me, bro. So, you know, this is the situation. Anyway, I'm going to have him go over here and look. Let's go um, observe this one and then come over here and observe this one. Then come observe that one and come observe this one. They have quite a bit for sale. So they have this little, I think this is a guinea pig, I think. Right. Oh, we can study the rodent? Really? I didn't even know that. All right, so that's a guinea pig. And then we have a ferret over here. And then we have a, um, what's this one? A hamster and a rat. Anyway, so he's over here just looking and I guess, look at Braylon's face though. He's just like, oh. <laughs> So how much are these things? Like, I don't even know. And unfortunately, the way that the animals are set up, we can't even like act like we're buying one. But at least we can just kind of like observe him and see which one he's really digging. Um, so content rodent. Let's see. Dollhouse inspiration. OK. And what else? He's like super excited right now. And how are we going to where are we going to put this at? I have no clue because they don't have no space in their house. We're going to probably have to put it outside because these cages are super big. But um, anyway, what, do you, what, what kind of run is that, Braylon? So Braylon's like, while I'm here, I'll just go in and get some stuff done. So which one do you want, little man? I'm going to have him come over here right now and um, just ask him which one he wants. And tell him to hurry up because he needs to go. He wants to go do some more things. Trick into believing in vampires? Oh, my gosh. We're not going to do that. Um, but let me just ask him really quickly, like, which one do you want? Like, hey, bro, which one do you want? I can go get you a robot or we could get one of these things. Like, what do you want? And he's like, I want one of these. This is what I want. So 
you got to pick one because I got I got things I got to do. I want to play basketball today. It's Saturday. It's like my only day off. Like I, I got things I need to do. Okay. He's like, okay, you know, I'll figure it out. Maybe I need to do a little research. <laughs> I don't know what he's thinking right now. So he wants to do a little research. I'm actually have him uh, browse some sites real quick. And he's like, look, I'm going to do a little research or whatever. And of course, Braylon's like, oh my gosh, like hurry, dude, just pick one. Anyway, so in the meanwhile, I'm going to have Braylon kind of come sit over here for a little bit and just get out while his brother is deciding what he wants to do. And I'm going to have him send Callie a, I guess, give her a phone call. Because if you guys know last episode, him and Callie took things to the next level in their little relationship Callie had like a little party at the house and um things went a little far with them and they ended up having their first little woohoo or whatever so he definitely wants to check on her and just make sure she's okay and all that good stuff um you know just to make sure everything is on the up and up you know and that's his, that's his girlfriend he wants to make sure that he she knows that you know everything's okay that everything is uh perfectly okay with them and um look at this mess in here who did this that Ben had to be one of our kids. Anyway, so let's see. Did you pick one, baby bro? Did you pick one? I'm going to have him come outside real quick and have him come tell him which one he picked. I think he's going to end up going with the ferret only because I have a soft spot in my heart for ferrets. And yeah, we're going to get a ferret. So he's going to be like, I want a ferret. So I'm going to have him talk really quickly um, about the ferret and just say, this is the one I want. Okay, Braylon, get over it, Bray J. Anyway, um, he's going to tell him this is the one I want. And he's like, all right, bro, you know, I got you. I'll get it for you. So that works out really good. Um, in the meanwhile, though, I'm going to have him send another text message real quick to um, to Callie. Just asking her. He's going to be like, hey, I'm almost done with my brother. If you want to, like, go hang out or go do something fun, you know, just, like, let me know or whatever. So I'm going to let them finish up their little interaction. I'm going to switch back to the house. All right, guys, we are back with Ashley, and I think we're going to sit there and change the curfew. I think we're going to set, oh, the latest we could do is 11 o'clock. Okay, well, never mind. Well, she's, for some reason, was looking at the curfew board trying to figure out what was going on with it. Um, I'm going to go read the note and everything. I don't know who left the note. Janae is doing what? She's just drinking some water and stuff, but I feel like um, the girls should probably, like, get out. What in the world, Skyla? What's going on? What's going on? Oh, Skyla was, like, having a dog on hissy fit. When does dad go to work? In three hours okay dad did you finish okay he did everything so i'm gonna have him actually because he's a little bit dazed right now so i'm gonna have him go take a nap um and get ready for work but i think what i'm gonna have the girls do because i don't know i feel like ashley doesn't spend enough time with the girls so i think they should do like a little girls night maybe like go to the movies and go hang out or whatever with each other so i'm gonna have her come over here and just Okay, I would like to adult now. I feel like I'm old enough now that I should be able to allow to go anywhere I want, do whatever I want. Can you treat me like an adult, please? <laughs> Not until you've grown more. We'll see what we can do. I feel like Ashley might want to start letting the let, letting them just you know because after the last couple of episodes and they've been having their friends and they're kind of like having their little personalities and their little friendships and relationships and all this other type of stuff i feel like ashley would kind of be like we'll see what we can do like maybe we could talk about a later curfew on the weekends maybe we could do 12 but on the weekdays y'all need to be home because of school so i'll have her say we'll see what we can do for a little bit and just see ashley has advised here affecting her character values all right so in the meanwhile let's come over here hug her lovingly let's talk to all the kids let's discuss some logic puzzles i guess but i'm gonna see if the girls want to go out she definitely wants to okay what did you what did you put up here like they just be putting things up there i'm like what did you say i wish i knew what they said but i'm gonna see if the girls want to go out and maybe like go to the movies and you know dante is i guess about to talk with skyla for a little bit i don't know dante is like feeling i don't know but i feel like dante should probably take um I don't know. Maybe Dante should go visit with his parents and I think about it because it's been a while. Okay, where? Oh, there they go. So I'm gonna have him send a text message to his dad and his mom and just say, hey, you know, maybe we can go out to eat or whatever. It's like four. It's like Saturday. So I just like I just want I just want everybody to go out and have a good time. So let me go in and get Ashley and have her talk with Skyla too and call her over and just say, Skyla, do you know, do y'all want to go to the movies? Is there a movie out that you guys want to see? Just so they can have like a nice um, girl time because they never get a chance to do anything with each other. And like I said, it's Saturday and these are her girls, you know, like this is her little her little uh, entourage, so to speak, you know, so Skyla's going through a phase. She's feeling a bit of mutual. Oh my gosh, everybody's going through a phase right now. So I think everybody's like, yeah, let's go to the movies. Everybody's loving that idea. So I'm going to have Ashley come over here real quick. 
and do a little bit of uh, browsing on the web. We're going to actually look um, to see what movies are out right now. Maybe they can go see Black Panther. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, that was like the only movie I could think of right now that's coming out. But I'm sure there's like some girly movie that they can go out and go see. And in the meanwhile, I'm going to get Braylon and um, Rylan to go on and come here. Let's go ahead and grab that uh, that thing that, oh my goodness, Romeo's dirty again? That is so annoying. That is so annoying. He stays dirty, y'all. It is the most annoying thing ever. All right, so where can we put... It might fit over here. It might fit right here. So let's go see real quick. Um, I think it's under here. I think it is. All right, and so we're going to get the ferret. Oh my gosh, the ferret's a 600 simoleons. Okay, maybe we won't get the ferret. Maybe he... Because what? how much did he make today? He didn't make that much money. He didn't make $600, y'all. He didn't make 600 simoleons. I swear to you. There's no way he made 600. So we're going to have to go with um, the hamster is 400. Why are these things so doggone expensive? The hamster is 400. So we'll go with the hamster. Um, let's get something that kind of goes with this room a bit. We might go with the natural colors. Um, it actually fits right there. The natural colors are, are very nice, but they're not as fun as the other. Oh, that one's nice. I like that one. Okay, so we'll do that one. And too bad we can't get a different color hamster, though. That's like the only thing that annoys me. I really wanted to get the ferret, y'all, but 600 simoleons is like way too much. We know Braylon, Bray J didn't make that much money. We already know he didn't. So anyway, I'm going to have Rylan come right over here and um, come rename him. Let's rename him. Well, <laughs> my plan was to get the ferret because I was going to name him Bruce Wayne. Because in real life, I looked at a ferret and it had a mask and I was going to name him Bruce Wayne. So I'm going to go in and call this guy Bruce Wayne. Because, I mean, you know, I didn't get my ferret, but I got a hamster. So it is what it is. We're going to call him Bruce Wayne. <laughs> And I'm going to have him talk to him. Let me ask him about his day. Uh, talk to him and observe him. And then let's play with him. And then let's feed him a treat. And all that good stuff. So he's going to do all of that and go play with him. And Rylan, I'm sure, is super excited that he got a hamster. And <laughs> Braylon is just like in a horrible mood. No, you're not going to destroy the pro. Oh, are you serious, Braylon? Oh, my goodness. Braylon, just, just don't. Just don't. Okay. I think dad is about to get up and go to work, but I'm about to have dad get up. Oh, can you play with Dante? Are you serious? Braylon is like in a horrible mood. Braylon. Wow. Come out here and talk to your son. Come out here and talk to your son. Where, where did he go? Wait, where did he go? That's that quick. He like disappeared. Wow. He's feeling all look at his face though. He's like feeling all good about himself. Like right now. Uh, uh, Sir, mm -mm. come over here. We're going to parent him real quick. Parent, well, <laughs> discipline recent behavior. We're going to actually punish him for that. Because first of all, Braylon's not stupid. Braylon Sr.'s not stupid. Like, son, I know you've been coming to here late. I ain't said nothing to your mama because I'm trying to let you live your life. And, be, and, and, you know, I know you're responsible. But now you done came in here and you done sat there and smashed your sister's stuff. We're going to ground him. So let's go ground him real quick. And then Braylon, he's going to be super upset about it. But you know what? You can't go out the house no more, which sucks for you because you got a girlfriend and she be wanting to invite you out on dates and stuff like that. So now you can't go no more. Why? How you going to ground him and you looking at me, Braylon? Like it ain't me. Anyway, no leaving the house. No friends, no phone. What could he do? y'all? I'm going to say no leaving the house. That's going to devastate him because he had plans tonight to go to go hang out with Callie. So he's like super upset about that. In the meanwhile, I'm going to get the girls ready. They're going to actually go out. Um, no one likes me. No one ever will like me. Why bother with anything anymore? Oh, goodness. Didn't we just, I'm just going to say I'll always love you. All right. So I'm going to get the girls ready to go. Let's go on. We already got our movie picked out. So let's travel. We're going to take Jada, Skyla, Tara, and Janae and have like a little, why that feels like that's not everybody. Oh, I could bring Audrina and have her meet us. Let's do that. And it'll be like a mama daughter thing in jiggle. So let's get Skyla, uh, Tara, Janae, Audrina. Is that everybody? He, she has three girls, four girls. So one, two, three, okay, Jada. So I miss Jada. Okay. So Jada, Skyla, Tara, Audrina, and Janae. And let's go. Should we invite Jacqueline too? Let's invite Jacqueline. We haven't seen her in a minute. So I think we should invite Jacqueline. And we'll just all go do like a girls movie. What girls movie could they go see? Y'all comment in the comment box. What girls movie would they go see? <laughs> what girls movie? Like some empowering movie. 
Okay, guys, before the ladies go out to the movie, because the movie is going to be at 8 o'clock, I have the girls dropping by really quickly for this cute little restaurant. It's actually, I forget what the name of it is called. It's like Nature something or another. But anyway, they specialize like in ice cream and, and desserts and stuff like that. So we're going to, hopefully they'll take us, where are we? Where are y'all sitting us at? Please sit us together. Are y'all not going to sit us together? Seriously? I think they're not going to seat us together. Oh my gosh, they're not going to seat us together. I hate when that happens because it's too many people. It's way too many people. Anyway, let's order for the table. I guess we'll just sit separately from each other because some of us are over here and some of us are over there. That kind of sucks. But anyway, so it's nice. Jacqueline's here and it seems like she's in decent spirits. Her eyes right now, y'all, are like glitching. I need to go fix them. So that's the reason why she looks like that right now. But anyway, let's grab, um, I guess, sparkling. Well, we can just do water for everybody. <laughs> I didn't realize how expensive this is going to be expensive. Oh my gosh. And then let's get, um, we're just going to get some ice cream. So let's grab, um, chef's choice is banana yogurt. Let's get baby girl the banana yogurt. I see. Oh no, actually, you know what? Let's get her the cherry ice cream. Cause I feel like she'd like that. Um, I think Ashley would probably go with chocolate cause she likes chocolate. Um, mint chocolate chip. I could see that being Tara. She'd probably get that one. Uh, Rainbow Sherbet sure sure would probably be like Janae. I can see her doing that. Uh, strawberry. I can see um, Jacqueline doing strawberry. And we got Neapolitan. I think I'm going to give the Neapolitan to uh, to, to Skyla here. And then we got Audrina. Audrina, what you going to get, girl? I think Audrina's going to be different. I'm going to give her the Twin Roses code. <laughs> All right, and then they could all sit there and get their ice cream and everything and just kind of like hang out. But yeah, her eyes, it's the um, the eyelashes, the Kajiko ones, they, um, with the, it's either the nails or the, the ring, I don't know, but they interfere with those. So you have to use like a different one. But anyway, there's like a ton of birds and stuff flying over here. I think it's because this is here, which kind of like makes the bugs and stuff come. So I guess we should, I don't know, maybe when I get a chance to edit this lot, I should change it. But anyway, so they're going to hang out and get their little ice cream or what have you and kind of like enjoy each other's company and it's nice that they can get out because like I said it's good every once in a while especially if you're a parent if you're a parent and you're watching this it's good every once in a while to have some alone time with your kids specifically same gender children so you could like you know talk with each other talk about like serious things like maybe she needs to go give them the conversation let's go brighten her day a bit um also uh ask about our favorite author you know just kind of like reconnect with your kids because sometimes when you're at the house all the time it's like all like do your homework clean the dishes uh do the toilet you know like go to sleep like it's all like boom 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 boom. so it's nice every once in a while to get away and just like enjoy each other's company or what have you so i think um oh they're over here talking to stuff right now all right so let's talk with uh i guess we might just need to say hi to audrina let's do like a little bit tell a joke about ducks See how Jacqueline is doing and do an impression and everything so we can have a conversation. And then I'm going to actually hop back over to the boys and go check on them. All right, guys, we are back at the house and Braylon is just enjoying the entire house to himself. Dante is actually leaving out right now. He's going to go visit with his dad for a little bit. Um, so he's going to be out and Rylan is actually asleep. And Braylon is up here eating some cake, y'all. He's grounded in the house and he's by himself and nobody knows he's about to invite Callie over and like I said Rylan's in here sleep because I mean Rylan he's he's on the wrong side of the dog and I don't know what's up with Romeo he's like barking at um at Bruce Wayne right now but um we probably should we don't need to do anything right now uh I guess I'll just let him finish sleeping so Callie's gonna be right over and he probably told her like hey I got the whole house to myself and oh my gosh it broke seriously so i'm gonna have him go right here and wait for her to come he's gonna watch her through the window here and let's invite her in let's see here so he's gonna let her in real quick and like i said everybody's going so let's do this let's let's um uh let's see let me <laughs> let me ask about her day we're not gonna go into that immediately but anyway come on in callie why is she in such a bad mood let's go in here though because i don't want to get in trouble so let's sit Oh, he like went in and gave her a kiss on the cheek. All right, so we're going to sit and chat here for a little bit. Um, 
and like I said everybody's gone it's just him and Callie got the whole house to themselves I want to fix this but oh so, no we don't have the money for it so come sit and talk with me Callie for a bit come on she's just like in a weird mood what's going on with you I'm gonna get to know her a little bit see what's going on with her um I don't think she's pregnant or anything like that so let me give her a massage and try to make her feel a little bit better you know of course they're gonna make out and everything like I said they have the entire house to themselves for the most part um oh no y'all what is going on why is dante getting i hear there's a great party going on there. no i'm with my dad right now anyway um that's weird he's with his dad right now so i don't know why that would even come up like that but anyway so um let's make out a bit try to get her in like a good mood i want to ask her what's going on i guess let's ask her can we ask her about her mood let's discuss interest a bit um also golly like what is going on rave about growing up he's gonna be like girl you know when we get when we get older we get to just do whatever we want to do we don't have to worry about like anybody telling us that we can't you know hang out or we can't go party or we can't do anything he's feeling a little bit rebellious right now so the fact that he was able to sneak her in and nobody knows you know it's it's one of those things i'm gonna have braylon work hard for a little bit because i think i'm gonna get him to retire fairly soon but oh my gosh they are like going in right now i've never seen when they make out like this like they it, they i don't know if that's like a teen make out or if that's like a oh no but <laughs> and i'm all in their business right now y'all like come on anyway um is he still asleep he is still asleep oh my god wait who are these people out here why are you outside my house young lady stacy Stacy, you know, FYI, Tara has moved on. FYI, she has moved on. Anyway, um, so they're in here right now. She's, she's like, you know, when we get older, everything's going to be great. Everything's just going to be absolutely just awesome. Anyway, he wants to level up in the charisma skill. Um, oh, she's like in a super flirty mood. Well, girl, you ain't saying nothing but a thing. This is going to be so foul, y'all. So either we can A, we can relax in here. Either we can A, go in here and woohoo or we can be going here in woohoo oh my gosh y'all i can see braylon doing this braylon is going through a rebellious stage right now so i'm gonna have him go in and do it like i said he has the whole house to himself he doesn't know how long he has the whole house to himself and him and callie have already taken it there so it's just kind of like it is what it is um you know he's just gonna be like i want to make you feel better i know you've had like a rough day so you know let's 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 go and yeah they're off <laughs> In the meanwhile, Rylan is still asleep, y'all. This is so scandalous, like on so many different levels. And him and Callie are off in the bedroom doing their thing. So, yeah, you guys got to chime in in the comment box. Let me know what you think about that. That is so wrong, Braylon. You're in there just disrespecting your parents' bed. Disrespecting your parents' bed, okay? I'm going to clean up this stuff for him real quick while they're doing that. Um, and then we probably need to go feed um uh, what's his face i forgot his name just like quick. is he hungry okay i guess i can have them go over here and call to meal and eat and i'll have her grab one too um so they can go on and and get that taken care of but uh yeah i don't know what to say right now oh dante's home <gasps> dante's home uh-oh wait who's he saying who is that wait Okay, Dante's home, but I don't know who he's saying goodbye to. So I have him going and coming here. He'll just go here and just start cleaning up stuff, putting away all that stuff, which means we're probably going to have to make. Oh, whoa. Hold on, y'all. That is so funny. That's the reason why I don't leave stuff like this in my game, because this dude walking around. <laughs> I think this is from Overwatch. Is it? No, it's from Sailor Moon. I think it's Sailor Pluto. Is it Sailor Pluto's? It is from one of my cosplaying characters. I mean, he got the whole get up going on. He got the hair that I need to take out my game because everybody spawns in that hair. It's ridiculous. Anyway, so Dante's here right now. He's kind of tired and he's a little bit hungry too. So I'm going to have him come grab a serving. Actually, you know what? I'm going to have him just going to go straight. Well, I could have him grab a serving of food. So I'm going to have him grab a serving. Y'all, Callie is walking around in her bed clothes omar is texting talk about no she's not even here anyway uh so she's coming out in her bed clothes like everything is okay i think dante's gonna be like bro like well bro uh, uncle <laughs> wait uncle uncle right nephew wait i forget <laughs> i forgot their familial relationship I, I get it confused because they're like the same age you know what i'm saying so it's just confusing to me what is he to you what is he to you let's see braylon is that your uncle that's your uncle <laughs> 
I don't know why I keep getting that confused. But anyway, um, I'm going to probably have to ask her to leave. I keep getting confused, y'all. And I'm probably going to have to ask her to leave in a minute because I have no idea when everybody's going to get home. And they're like trying to toggle home right now. And I'm trying to make them leave out. Anyway, so when she's finished, I'm going to blow her a kiss. Uh, give her a big old kiss on the lips and then i'm just gonna ask her to leave because i don't want to get in trouble and dante's like dude you know you i thought you was grounded like well dad said i couldn't leave but didn't mean that i couldn't like bring anybody over here you know so anyway so they're out the movies and stuff right now just kind of like hanging out but he's gonna tell her where are they going they gotta go way over here to go do all of that I gotta go way over here to do all of that Ugh. he's like you know i'm sorry you're gonna have to go because you know my parents are gonna come home and they're not gonna understand you being here because i'm supposed to be grounded and she's just like okay you know no worries i'll see you i'll see you another time so she's just gonna leave the food and just go on and go but she's tired anyway so i guess it works out okay so anyway so there she goes miss callie and you might have dodged a bullet, Braylon. You just may have dodged the bullets. Anyway, I'm going to come over here, propose a crazy screen scheme to Dante, gossip a bit, um, let them let fire him up a bit, um, enthuse about meal, all that good stuff. And he's going to probably have to go to sleep because I think he has work. Yeah, he has work in seven hours, y'all. So did he even do his homework or anything? No, he didn't. So, oh my gosh. Not only does he have to get in the bed, he's going to need to... Um, get up in the morning it, we need to claim this bed again like why didn't we claim it the first time that's weird um all right so he's gonna go to sleep dante hopefully he had a good come a good visit with his dad like it's been a while since he's seen his parents so i'm gonna have him go to sleep too and i think i'm gonna go oh and the poor rylan is still in here sleep y'all <laughs> and the girl should be coming home fairly quick fairly soon so anyway and i think braylon's about to come home in a second too so he dodged the bullet yeah y'all he's gonna be home at one o'clock so like in 30 minutes so he definitely dodged the bullet um dante jr has learned the following traits about okay all right so let's go on and pick oh this is spoiled how did it get spoiled that quick oh that was from like this morning i think anyway i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this episode up hopefully you guys enjoyed let me know down in the comment box down below and i can't throw this stuff away for whatever reason um and i will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching bye